I'm Ernie Wright. I work in the Scientific Visualization Studio at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. We're looking at a computer model of the view at the South Pole of the Moon. This is like a time lapse to show the motion of the Sun and the Earth and how the shadows change over time. Things don't rise and set in the usual way here. The Sun travels around the horizon, never getting more than a degree and a half above or below it, so there are always these long shadows. And from here, the Earth appears to be upside down and rotating backwards, but that's just because of our point of view. The Earth doesn't move much in the moon's sky. It's always in roughly the same place, just sort of bobbing around. That's true everywhere on the near side of the moon. It's a consequence of the moon always the <laughs> visualization studio at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. We're looking at a computer model of the view at the south pole of the moon. This is like a time lapse to show the motion of the sun and the earth and how the shadows change over time. Things don't rise and set in the usual way here. The sun travels around the horizon, never getting more than a degree and a half above or below it, so there are always these long shadows. And from here, the earth appears to be upside down and rotating backwards, but that's just because of our point of view.